Thank you, Yosef. Uh, Kira Farnow. Uh, my name is Chris Simcock. I have formed part of what is a very small, patriotic and proud Christchurch contingent within this uh, Edmund Hillary Fellowship. And uh, today I'm here to talk to you guys about the Impact Enterprise Fund, which we have recently launched, which has been very exciting. But uh, before I do that, I'll just give you a, a quick rundown on my background. So I am also a uh, recovering investment banker uh, who has uh, spent a bit of time with the Next Foundation, uh, who we heard from yesterday. And that was a, a really fantastic insight for me, just seeing how the disciplines and rigour of the financial world can uh, kind of coexist with the philanthropic education and environmental space and create some really fantastic outcomes. And working with Next uh, really did, whilst we, we did some fantastic things, it also highlighted some limitations in the model for me and that we're consistently relying on really generous donors to keep these funds endowed. Um, and I think if you look across the world at some of the big problems we're facing, such as climate change and eradicating poverty, whilst the philanthropic dollar is always going to have a place, uh, unfortunately it's not quite doing enough at the moment. So that got me researching other models that we can apply into the space and looking at where the really big pools of capital are. And at the moment, that is sitting in financial assets. Uh, so I started researching on, on ways we can bring those two worlds together and came across this concept of impact investing. Uh, and that set me on a, a bit of a path of discovery. Uh, I had uh, probably 100 coffees over the course of a 12-month period. Many, uh, many people in this room, in fact. Uh, and basically we're just trying to validate whether this sort of model could actually work in New Zealand, both from an investor perspective and also an investee, because uh, obviously we need the deals. And uh, the pretty resounding feedback was yes. So in March this year, took the plunge, uh, left the banking world and set up Impact Ventures. Uh, not long after that, we teamed up with the Arkina Foundation, uh, who do a lot of fantastic work in the New Zealand landscape in the social enterprise incubation space. Uh, they've seen over 750 social enterprises in the last 12 months. And New Ground Capital, who is a really experienced investment manager uh, from Auckland and have done a lot of stuff in the social housing space. And collectively, we uh, launched the Impact Enterprise Fund about two months ago uh, with our, our big goal of uh, being able to support entrepreneurs in New Zealand who are trying to tackle these uh, big problems by providing capital, but also uh, venture partnership. And so since that time, we've uh, been well and truly on the fundraising trail. Uh, it's been a very much an education process. Uh, and whilst this is the first fund of its kind, this, uh, this really isn't a new concept internationally. And, and we're actually starting to see some really big flows of capital into the impact investing space. A number of the, the biggest asset managers in the world, like your Black Rocks and Black Stones and TPGs, have, have recently launched impact investing offerings at the demands of their clients. And we've even started to see some investment banks like Credit Suisse uh, and I think Fred called it the Vampire Squid, Goldman Sachs, uh, developing impact investing offerings as well. And what really differentiates these funds from a, a typical PE or VC fund is that measurement of impact outcomes. Uh, there's a, a number of methods that have been developed internationally to do this, uh, but reporting against the UN Sustainable Development Goals and uh, the Global Impact Investing Network have also developed their own framework and trying to find standardised ways where we can capture impact across the whole portfolio is a really critical piece to this. And uh, this is what we're trying to bring into New Zealand. So the Impact Enterprise Fund, we, uh, we're currently seeking to raise between 10 to $15 million to invest in eight to 15 high growth businesses uh, that are trying to tackle big problems. Uh, we don't have a sector focus, um, but naturally there are some sectors that lend themselves better to impact investing, such as clean energy, uh, sustainable food production, agriculture, technology and education. Uh, and these businesses we will be working with, partnering with and, and really helping them to execute on their growth strategies. And another really fundamental part of this is that we don't believe that investing in businesses that deliver tangible social and environmental outcomes should require any sort of concession from a financial perspective. So this fund is targeting market rate financial returns, uh, and we will achieve that by investing in what we think are the high growth sectors of our economy um, over the next 10 to 20 years. So, as I said, we've been uh, on a fundraising trail. Um, the reception has been fantastic. We're, we're currently in the process of converting a lot of our cheerleaders into check writers, which is uh, an interesting one. 
Um, but the good news for you guys is um, we are open. Um, so if you uh, or anyone you know are interested in investing into a fund like this, we would love to hear from you. Uh, so there's more information on the fund's website or feel free to contact me directly. Uh, and yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for your time. Here.